What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to put together a springtail culture. So I used arid springtails from... So I used the arid springtails from the BioDude and a lot of other supplies also from the BioDude. Not sponsored, just enjoy his products. And I'll be showing you step by step how I put it together. I'm just going to get right into the video because I'm sure that is what you came here to see. So don't forget to like and subscribe below as well as turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when I put out new videos. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is remove all this stuff from top <laughs> so I can open it up. So I have my plastic bin here and I'm gonna be adding some terra firma substrate. It's the same one that's going to be in both of my bioactive enclosures. So I wanted to keep it the same, keep it simple so that it was easy to refill the enclosures as necessary. All right, so now that we have a couple inches of substrate, I'm gonna be mixing in some long strand sphagnum moss. I already have it pre-moistened with some dechlorinated water. I'm just gonna be mixing a bunch of that inside here as well. Right, and now that that is mixed in, I'm gonna be mixing in some different biodegradables that I have. These will act as good like hides and stuff for all the little springtails as well as like different things they can break down and like keep filling the soil with nutrients and whatnot. All right, so my memory card filled up, but I'm not sure exactly where I left off with building this. So far we have the substrate, the terra firma bioactive substrate in here as well as some sphagnum moss and leaf litter with some palm leaves and some sycamore bark here. So I also have some different seed and nut pods that are from Reptile Supply Co. I will be doing an unboxing from Reptile Supply Co. soon where I'll be getting more stuff like this, like all different woods and stuff. But these are just some that I have left over, some different seed and nut pods. I'm gonna be throwing these in here too. They make good hiding places for your spring pills. So we're just gonna throw a couple of those in. Now I'm gonna take some dechlorinated water and spray it down a little bit. Now these are arid spring pills, so they don't need as much moisture, but as you can see from the charcoal they're in, they definitely still appreciate moisture, like most spring tails do but these ones don't need as quite of like a tropical environment as other types of springtails do. So I'm only gonna spray this down a little bit, but we also added the sphagnum moss that's gonna keep some extra moisture in here as well. So now we are gonna add these springtails finally. So I'm just gonna add all the charcoal and everything with them. We're just gonna dump them right on in here. And then we're gonna make sure we rinse this out to get any stragglers left behind in here. And so I'm going to be trying this spring grub um, springtail diet from the Bio Dude. I've never tried it before, but all the reviews that I've seen on it look really good. Everyone said that their springtail cultures did really good after they started feeding it. So I bought some and I'm going to be trying it out and I will give you guys an update further down the line. All right, so here you could see all the substrate now, probably from a better view here. See, we have all the different leaves. This is like some of that bark. And we mixed in the charcoal and everything inside there. So all the springtails have a good place to hide. And now we are just gonna do a light sprinkle of the spring grub. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's enough for now. I just sprinkled some spring grub, some food across the substrate here. So hopefully they enjoy that. Never tried this food before, so we'll see how it goes. And I will give you updates on this culture as it continues to settle. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you were able to learn something from this video. 
Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. So comment down below if you decide to build one yourself and let me know how it goes and what kind of substrates you chose to go with. This is just what I chose to do. There are so many different ways you can go about this. So let me know what you guys decide to do below and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys and I will see you next time.